Hello everyone, it is Thang and welcome to the first 2019 tour in February, not in January, because I don't know, I kind of missed January because I was, I don't know what I was doing in January, but we're going to do a February one and I've, I'm changing up my game a little bit in 2019 versus 2018. 2018 was just like massively getting whatever I felt like it and just growing it huge and big, I, I didn't care, but it was, it was a, a learning process, right? Uh, so in 2019, we're, it's more about controlling what we want to get as an end result in our beautiful plants. And uh, actually, I actually don't know where to start. Well, they're over here because this is the spectacular stuff over here. So I want to start over there first, right? And um, also, I'm thinking about redoing a lot of my videos just to, you know, update the information that I've learned from last year anyways. So I think we're going to do that. So let's head over there and we'll, we'll come over here as the finale. Okay, let's do it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start on this side. As you can see, it's the usual setup you've seen before. Uh, yup, yup, I've taken the bottom and put it over there for you to see later because you can't really see the bottom stuff with like all the red lights, right? You go closer, look, ooh, it's turning black. That's not good, right? That's intense LEDness. It's because it's on and off, on and off all the time. That's how LEDs work. They're not always on all the time, right? So the setup is all the plants are here. The windows open, the doors open, and I have two fans pushing the air this way. Airflow is very, very important to these plants, right? Because you have to remember, these originated in the desert where they have a lot of dry air, constant fresh air all the time. And that's what some, a lot of people don't put into their setup. And most of their plants just like, kind of start looking unhealthy, uh, a lot of, bugs going on and stuff like that, right? This year, um, because my setup is so much better than last year, it's been, I think, a month and a half since I've last sprayed, like fully sprayed. And usually I'll catch a mealy bug here and there, but other than that, I haven't need to spray any much like before, right? Because usually before I had like a liter bottle and just went through a liter and a half the first round, but this round, it's just wherever, whenever, who cares? Um, so airflow is actually extremely important. Fresh, cool airflow because without that, the air just stales and that promotes the bugs to come out, unhealthiness and all that stuff, right? It's like you farting in a room. When you fart too much, it really stinks, right? Anyway, so let's get with the, the, the tour and I'll talk about airflow in another video because it's very important. Okay, so as you can see up here, we have a lot more room than before because I've cut down on my Giba Florias. Why? Well, I had a fungal infection <laughs> and it spread to all the big leaves, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. I have a lot, of, uh, a lot of it backed up anyways, and I've stopped the spreading, which is great. Um, so before, it used to be, I believe, 20, 22, 23 of the big pots, and it pretty much took up all the space here, as you can remember, right? All the space here. Now, um, because all the leaves are pretty much cut, 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 there's a lot more space, sorry, there's a lot more space, and I've reduced the size because this year I want to control how compact it, will, it is, it, it's gonna come out to, versus last year where I just wanted to grow, right? I said, I want, I want everything, make my monster grow! Right, so I've reduced it down to these pot size, which are 13 inch, versus those pot size, which are uh, 15 inch or 16 inch, and they're tall ones too. And I've changed the soil medium for my Gibiflorias to be more grit based versus more soil based because that those ones have potting soil, so they retain a lot more water, so they grew out gigantically. Um, so this year, it's all about controlling all these to be more compacto size like this. This is beautiful, gorgeous, isn't that? That is gorgeous, right? Like this is this is coming to, this is my Thanos. Like this, this here is coming to as well. Gorgeous, right? Um, so I want it to be compact like this all year long. So we'll see what happens. Um, and then I've actually moved, so these ones I wanna stay this big, right? These ones I wanna stay this big versus these ones where I just wanna stay that size, so like, like the potting size. So. Echeverias or succulents usually grow to the potting size that you give it to, you put it in, right? So it's all about controlling how they grow, how they look, and that's what we're gonna do this year. It's very important for me to you know, do this experiment, which I know I could do, so it's fine. And as you can see, a lot of them are pink, purple, 
and rouge, right? Because I have, I have good lights. This, these are the Sun Blaster LED ones. Ooh, so bright and shiny. Anyway, so let's get on with the tour. Um, so a lot of them have been compact sized into these square pots, which is perfect. These are nine inch pots. 9 inch and then 13 inches max I'll go. Um, so I have a pink butterfly right here. Ooh, so pretty, right? Pink, pink butterfly. And it was like hugely tall. So I cut it and this is how I propagate. I just cut, I just give it good head and it just grows a nice new one for me. Um, I can, you can't really propagate the, uh, the babies here because they don't have any chlorophyll and they just end up dying anyways. Uh, Granovia that I need to sell. Uh, this is a no way right here. You can see the no way, right? So it's very compact. I want that compacted size. Uh, the champagne, which I moved to a bigger pot, I want it to grow much bigger because uh, it's very, very beautiful big. Um, this is the linguas. That looks cool, compact as well. Uh, Andromeda, very beautiful, compact. Uh, Takatsoko Okina, right? Uh, this one is the Vilacina, I believe. Very, very gorgeous. You see that? How gorgeous that is. Uh, this is the pearl, all right? Uh, mahogany rose, heavy raindrops. You see how like there's tons of purple and pink to these things? It's because of the LED lights. And it's also because like my watering method as well. Uh, Moana Loa, uh, New Heights raindrop. Look at that, how gorgeous it is now that it's compacted. Before it wasn't really that gorgeous. It's kind of all over the place, but now it's gorgeous. Undala, which I'm kind of trying to fix. So we'll see what happens. Campfire, it's a new thing. Mm, not loving it so far. Who knows? Uh, this is the Mirene, pink Mirene's, which are turning pink right now. It had some chemical burns because <laughs> I chemical sprayed it so much. Uh, so it pretty much pff, fall, fell apart, but now it's you know recovered. But it's turning pink now, great. Uh, I put I put these ones into uh, this the planters that the gay boys gave me. I know I always call them the gay boys because they are the gay boys. The gay boys they gave me a tea. So I put all of them into one because this is this is the one that I got from their workshop, right? And then these two are my other ones. And because of how I'm watering and changing my lighting, um, it's changing. It's changed the colors so beautiful right before even like when I had these lights they were still greenish but now they're like peachiness because mm, Thang understands now uh, and this is the sedum chocolate which I'm gonna be doing a um, a photo shoot today and putting on my Instagram you know it's the colors are real okay my Instagram is like it's a little bit enhanced but it's like it looks naturally enhanced not like fake enhanced right it's like it's one of those things. Enhance, enhance my pictures, enhance. Um, my Minagosa Ang that I beheaded, so it has like, I think five babies I, I can take out today. This is the Sunburst Starburst, gorgeous, right? The Hakuho, the Calico Katie's. Look, it's so pink, it's so pink. My Strings of Hearts variegated. And then I got, I got the, uh, the air plants right there. This is still alive and it's producing a baby. It's supposed to be dying. You know, they're wonderfully colored. And then this side, I got the Bakras. It's one of my favorite ones right here. Look how gorgeous that is. That is gorgeous. So in the summer, it turns red. This year, I'm gonna make it turn red. The Jane Nailer, which is still kind of, mm, but it is growing, don't worry. Etna, gorgeous. Sea Dragon, which I finally cut off. Uh, something, something, oh, Lilac Frost. My galaxy, I love the galaxy. I love the peachy color of it. Mm, it is gorgeous, right? Thanos right here. Uh, the Pluto or Vilacina ICN. It's actually called Vilacina ICN, but the nickname is called Pluto. And this is my Gorgon's Grotto. And I think, oh, I put the pink Granovia in the other pink planters that the gay boys made me. Or I made and then they gave it to me. And I think these saggy boobs are dying, but that's okay, whatever. And just so that you know, just because you type something in Google and you can't find it doesn't mean it's real. Like this Thanos, you won't, you won't, you won't find it in, in, in Google to ID things. Cause like, you know, I had people like, oh my God, that's not the real name of it. I need to like find the real name because whatever. Anyways, okay. Yeah, cause like not everything comes from like the US of A. 
You know, there's like Asia and Europe, and they cultivate a lot more than the United States of America. And a lot of the names is lost in translation, and you can't find a lot of it in Google or search, right? So anyways, I love people on the internet. This is the second row here, which, you know, you've seen on Instagram a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot to take in, because I usually sit here and just like gaze into the abyss and the abyss gaze back into me. Ooh, do you guys like this? Oh, that's beautiful, right? Right, so gorgeous. Let's go back one more time. Okay, so I have some new additions to um, to my stuff and I have, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think, oh, I killed the Kunti. So the Kunti's dead. I still have the Afterglow, um, that one. This Aeon Sonacy hasn't actually opened up for me. It's opened up for everybody, whatever. This Aeonium, I think Halloween or whatever, has finally recovered. Look at that gorgeous color in it. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bunnies going back to dormancy because they finished their lives. Uh, moon glow, frilly stuff, something, something. Um, over firm. Cherokee, Swan Lakes, which are Swan Laking right now. Crested version of this one over here. Oh, also, I've switched over to just putting the name tags onto the the pots instead versus like on top. Because like, you know, when I take pictures, I have to take them out and put them back in, take them out, put them back. Oh, so much work. I'm too lazy for that. So that's what I did. Uh, something. Crassella pubes, ooh, Pachaveri Ellen. Look at how beautiful that is right now. Mm -hmm. My moonstone, gorgeous moonstone. This is an Amatorum. What's it called? Amatorum. Amatorum that uh, the seller has gifted me, which I'm, I think I'm gonna put it on sale. Uh, it's very chubby as well. And I think it's turning pink under these lights. So we'll see what happens within a month time when, I'm, when I start, uh, when I, uh, start ordering I, or sell them or whatever. See, you see there's a little pinkness, right? So we'll see. Uh, the Bingus, ooh, it's getting back its color that I originally bought it as, or close to it. Silver Star, Moonburst, Ver Higgins, Torres, Torres, you're looking weird. It's very chubby. Raindrops, don't care. Allen, don't care. Cupids, uh, something. I don't know the name of this one, but look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, this is a Ionium Starburst, uh, no, or Starburst Sunburst, a crested version of it. Uh, Grenovias, uh, Sedum Sovilliums, Agavoides Rubella, Chroma that I need to get rid of. And you have this side, which is me too. My Hawaiian Portolorca, which is blooming, right? The Lemonberry, uh, the Polydonis. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous redness in it. Oh my god, right? Oh, hold on. Oh my god, right? Oh my god, right? Uh, something I don't know what the name of, but I actually like, I love the geometry of this. This is very beautiful. My Graptivera Tibetans, which is getting its beautiful colors. Uh, super Minima. No, no, Super minim, Minimo? It's weird. Super Minima that, that they've gifted me, and also it's blooming. Uh, the Icarus, which is getting its color back. Mm, gorgeous. Peach Pride or Beach Pride or Bitch Pride. Oh, sorry. Peach Pride. Look, it's so beautiful. Look at the underneath the... Oh my gosh, right? That's gorgeous. Right, and then I got the Angel Finger. Ooh, Angel Finger, bang, bang. Look, the tips are pink. Mm, gorgeous, right? Uh, this is the Snow Queen. Is it Snow Queen? Snow Queen is getting its... It's keeping its gorgeous color since I bought it. Uh, another raindrop, don't care. Don't know the name of this. Ooh, look at my pimples. It's getting, it's, well, it's growing. So this, I can't tell, I can't show it to you now. I mean, later on, it'll be nice. Uh, painted frills, mm, it's gorgeous. I may have a show, photo shoot with that one too. The Mason mm, Blue Meadow, right? Uh, what is the name of this? I got this from Portugal. I don't, I don't remember its name. It is a Pachaveria Cla Clavifolia, Clavifolia. Pachavera Clavifloria, right? So this actually changes into orange and yellow in the summer, gorgeous. But look at look how outside it is, it's gorgeous, right? Gorgeous, and then my Silver Queen, my Cyberbolton, 
the actual real uh, Swan Lake that is Swan Laking for reals now. It is for real Swan Laking now. Uh, another shuriken that I need to get rid of. A lovely rose that's becoming very lovely. Right. A mocha variegated. It's so cool though. It's so cool. Right. That is really cool. Uh, Miss Richards. I think this one's variegating. I'm not sure, but it looks very weird. Miss Richards. Right. A Acavoides. A Baltana. Looks awesome. Zaragoza. Other Zaragozas. Irish Mint. A Helena. Helena's so expensive. Did you know that? Moon Goddess and uh, Elegance. So that's those ones. And then you got some funner ones here. Uh, Povenati Frosty right here. Tiny Burger. Uh, Logomiso. Logisimus. La, 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 I don't know. A Chroma again. Uh, cubic frost. Look at that tiny pig nose in there. You see that? That's cute. Uh, Topsy turvy. Agavoris, different one. Don't know the name of that. I've been trying to find the name of that. This is a Pachaveria exotica. Right? Ghost plants. Uh, Pupus, pus, Pupusarum white form right here. And Pupusarum regular form right here. So this changes into different colors. There's only one type of Pupusarum. It's, it's, it changes from green, red, to brown, to black, depending on the lighting condition. Uh, so if you see like there's a green and a red one, that's the same thing. It's just different name and different lighting condition. But there is a white one. You see, that is the difference. There's a white and there's a regular one, right? Uh, my two super bum variegated plants. Oh, that's cute, right? Look how different it is. So the newer leaves that are growing in, it's changing into these ones because it has the right like, um, condition, which is really cool. Uh, my Black Prince variegated mutation right here. I think it's just flowering. <laughs> I don't know. And the Black Prince, I actually need to sell that one because I have the other one that you'll see later. A trumpet that is currently growing right now. Mm -hmm. The rainbow sunset that's taken like a year to become a rainbow sunset. Oh, oh my God, that's long. A Paul Bunyan mutation, gorgeous. A Japan Moon River, gorgeous, right? And then you got uh, an actually Lowy that I bought, I think from Rare Plants that I me or something. The seed, this is the only living seed. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Pearl of a number, compacted form. Minagosa, when it's like, you know, really beautifully red. Uh, a Miss Richards again. A, another chroma. And this is actually an, an Orion, not a, a Polydonis. It's an Orion that's been, I don't know, it's ribbon. It's really cool. Another more Cupid stuff, which I need to get rid of as well. Because, you know, people buy them and they're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. You know, I don't think I want them. And then I just ban them. Okay, so moving on to the Adrils. I've actually had, I've lost a few Adril Mishkis. Um, because of the polar war war vortex, vortex, polar vortex. But that's okay, I have backups of it, so it's fine. Um, I don't remember all the names to them. <laughs> but I'll just give you a little sneak peek of all my Adro Mishkit that has survived, so it's fine. Always have backups of everything, right? Yeah, that's my Adro Mishkis collection. Okay, and then we'll head downwards one more. So this is, I've, I found, I bought another of the Sunblaster LED lights right here and put it on this side versus the other side because this is where I usually sit. Right? Um, so I put it onto this, this, and it's actually really nice. Uh, look at this Aeonium lily pad. So when you don't give with water, it changes to this color in like tense light, right? And now it's going green because it has roots finally. So less water, my Porta Lorca. Elephant bush, variegated one, beautiful. Crassula tamatosa that everybody's like, oh my God, <laughs> that looks really cool. I think the pink champagne that I, has stopped giving me babies. I don't know why. So these are the other Gibbofloria babies that I'm currently um, nurturing or growing right now. And they'll be on sale in the springtime, right? Um, I've put the ghost plant up here because it will look nicer. 
getting more color, more compacted. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, and then the pearl von Numberg, which has been kind of like bonsai did, you know, because the lower leaves were like uglying. So I've pretty much ripped the bottom leaves out and that's what it looks like, right? Oh, sorry. That's what it looks like right now. Yeah. And then um, the jelly beans, I don't think I can grow them. I don't know. I've, I've had so much problems with them. I don't know, whatever. Um, and all the Echeverria rainbows that I have, I put them into one singular pot. Because I don't want them to be all round. I just want them into one single pot, pot and under extremely powerful lights. And yeah, we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. The Calubra, the Libosibum, Aeonium Libosibum, which I love, right? Uh, the purple frills that was like uh, stretching, so I've beheaded it and I've repotted it into a smaller pot uh, under these lights because they were under they were under the red LEDs and apparently the red LEDs are not powerful enough for these ones. So for these, the Glyboforias, so I put them into uh, the Sun Blaster LED, which is right here, right? So it's much more powerful. Uh, this is the orange Monroe, which is also a pink Monroe, which is, which is just a Monroe, right? So there's no such thing as pink Monroes. It's just an orange Monroe that changes colors depending on the situation, you guys. Same thing, different story. Uh, the Midway, it's, it's one year old right now. It's, I think it's over one year. The Nebula, remember my Nebula that I bought last year? It's still alive. Oh my God, it is over one year old now. Love it. Uh, the Fury Fire, which is looking nasty because I've, I've, I've uglied it. Because I thought I had scale, but it was just, it was just edema. That's, that was it, so it's fine. The Medusa, oh, this is gonna be lovely. Beautiful when it grows up. You know, they're like, they're like ugly ducklings, right? They're ugly when they're younger, but when they grow up, they're beautiful. They're beautiful AF, right? Like, like my Fantastic Fountain right now, which is like super gorgeous, right? But it was ugly when I was younger. Look at that, right? Now, you know, I've been posting like Instagram stories about my Fantastic Fountain and like taking pictures of it. Right, and people were like, oh my God, I want one now. I want one now, I want one now, I want one now. I'm like, why didn't you buy them last year when I was selling them? They're like, cause I didn't know they were gonna be this beautiful. I'm like, you don't trust me, do you? Yeah, people never do until like they see what it's like. It's like, okay, whatever. But fantastic fountains are real. So is pink. Pink is real, you guys. Pink is very real. My Agavoides ebony, which is currently growing roots right now. That's why you see how it's like, kind of dried up because it's still growing. It has roots, but not very big roots, right? So we'll see. I love the Ebony series. I want to collect pretty much all of it. I have the, which is this, Ebony. I have the orange Ebony. I have the Acavoides. I have the Mexican Giant, which you'll see very soon. I have the purple Ebony. I have the red Sirius. So I need to collect the, uh, oh, I also have a Romeo and Ruben. I also need to collect the red ebony as well, um, and a few other things, but whatever. Uh, the Helena X Raindrop, which hasn't given me any, any drops yet, I believe. Uh, and because I put this under the LED lights, you can see how it's been stretched up. The, sorry, the red LED lights, which is down here, it's been stretched up until now, which is under more powerful LED lights, so it's more compact now. Yep. The Mexican Giant, ooh, this is very beautiful, right? The Coltalidon, which now it's actually recovering. I know, right, I know. You know, it's finally, it's finally bonsaiing itself. Uh, and then down here is usually where I put all the stuff that I want to change pink. Oh my gosh, it's, oh, look, see, that's why, that's why I'm taking it out, so that's why you can see it later, because like, if I put it, like, you, you won't be see its real colors. Uh, I'm just testing this Crassula because usually this Crassula is supposed to like gradients from like green to like red. And it's next beside the heater. It's under the red LED. So we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna test it. Uh, and then that's the sensation. I have another sensation, but you know, it's, it's very beautiful, but it's kind of ugly right now because of the edema, but that's okay. You can always like, not water and it'll come back to normal, right? So let's head on to the other side and I'll show you before the finale, right? Okay, so this is the other side of the setup. As you see all the Gibba Florias, they've been beheaded. 
um, and they've been chopped up to pieces and they've been you know compacted because we needed more space and because it was getting a lot of edemas and there was a fungal infection and I pretty much fixed it. A lot of them are growing babies anyway, so it's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, yeah, so this side, and this is the string of buttons that I did on Instagram the other day, where it was just like flooping over. So I put it under in a hanging basket um, so that way it can hang and also like the babies hopefully it'll hang over and it'll look really cool We'll see in the summer. I put it under much more stronger LED lights It was under the red LED lights before which is fine because it gives it a nice beautiful. Sorry Focus There you go gives it its nice beautiful redness, but we'll see up here because these are much stronger We'll see and then oh you've already seen these ones yet. Yeah. You've already seen the strings of heart right there Strings of heart, right? Calico kitties, pink. Pink is real, you guys. And this is a um, Euphobia. I had the name on it. This is a Euphobia Monodium Calcinium. Very, very cool. I've had it for about two years now, coming to two years now. Yeah. So I'm gonna propagate more of those because I actually really like them. Absolutely gorgeous, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna sit down. Actually, I might not sit down, but this is the side where it has the T5, uh, hold on, uh, no, not that way. The T5 LED bulbs. Um, so it's not as strong as the sunlight LED ones. Well, see, these are sunlight's T5, but they're not T5 high output, but they're not as strong and powerful versus the LED ones. So I usually put the green stuff on this side, right? So all these are just green, 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 green. They're not, they're not gonna change colors that drastically under these lights. So I leave all the green stuff on this side. Uh, a bunch of crassulas and aeoniums and whatever over there. I don't really care about the Aloe Christmas Carol or Merry Christmas, I don't know, Carol. Uh, this is the Flapjack. It's very nice and compact this year versus last year, which is like all over the place. But I think if I put that under the LED light, it'll just change red. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put these two under the other LED lights and we'll see what happens, it'll change red. Uh, I need to get rid of all these ones. These are the Adromishkis, jelly beans. Again, you know, the sedum, patchophyllums. Don't really care about them that much. Not my thing. Agave, this is somebody's order. Um, this is the Hawartha Pamilla, the little rings or little donuts, donuts, right? Aloe and the Hawarthia Pamilla over there, the pearls, which is about two years old now too. It's beautiful, gigantic, and it's actually blooming as well. Let me see if I can go closer. I don't think I can. Cause I, yeah, it's, it's blooming right now. And these two, that's a Pacopodium right there in front of us, right? And then that's another agave, I think Blue King, I don't know. Uh, Crassula something repustris. Crassula samatosa, samatosa. Gronovia, agave again. Um, let's see. Hawarthia zebra, not zebra cactus. Someone's like, yeah, but you know, on the internet it says it's a zebra cactus. No, it's a Hawarthia. It's a Hawarthia, zebra Hawarthia. Worth a zebra just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's always true you guys please <laughs> please uh, this is a Senecio Sempervivus Sempervivum Granti right here this huge and beautiful thing right there yeah uh, I got some baby toes I got some I don't know Aeonium Valor I don't, I don't know Crassula baby surprise I think these ones are dead looks like dead that's okay don't really care about that uh, Haworthia retetsa, whatever, the giant one, and then the regular one right here, they're burning because like it's under a lot of light and it doesn't have like water to replenish its cells, so it's burning right now. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, Sedum multiseptus, because I'm not really into Haworthia, not, not those type of Haworthia anyways. Sedum multiseptus right there, oh beautiful. The ice plants, which requires actually a lot more water than regular succulents. So I've actually mixed like a little potting soil into this so it retains a lot more water. You see that? Right, because if I water like every other thing, it just dries up very quickly. Haworthia viscosa, beautiful. Uh, Crassula merchanti, merchandi, beautiful. 
Um, these were like the deadbeat ones where nobody wanted it and I just kept them, you know, and so I was like, eh, I'm just gonna throw them, not really care for them and they've recovered very well. It takes, guys, sometimes it takes a long time to recover, so it's not an instant thing. You know what the funny thing is? If you have made it this far, and let me tell you something, plant people, I, would, I, 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 I thought, you know, plant people were patient and understanding, but a lot, the majority of you want instant gratification so fast, right away. You know, and then I just don't bother with you anymore. I really don't. Like some people just want instant, like, oh, instant results, right? But it's like, no, it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take a lot of time to like recover. It's gonna take a lot of time to wipe out like mealybugs and all that stuff. It's gonna take a while to like grow roots, look beautiful. And a lot of people, they're just like, no, I want an instant gratification now. I want it instantly gone. I want things done. No, it's like, no. Like the messages that people message me with, it's ugh, so much. Ooh, Crafted at Campfire, recovered, so there's not that much mealybugs in it, still have to look after that. Hawortha Starkina, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Starkiana, Starkiana, sorry. Purple, Japanese purple, which I'm propagating from the bloom stock. It's ready to be plucked off. And then uh, some few things. Hoya, the, the, uh, the heart-shaped one, which I have. Uh, my Astrolobia, Astroloba Deltoidea right here, gorgeous. Astroloba Refubilibra right here as well, gorgeous. Tycholidon, mm-hmm. Uh, this is another uh, Hawortha Pamela Mag Mag Maginata uh, Emperor. So that's, that's, that's gonna go big as well. Uh, this one which has finally rooted and it's recovering. Uh, Lef Lefomlium glutamine, I don't know, I can't pronounce that word, sorry. Uh, Avonia conara, the codex ones, gorgeous. Uh, and then a few other things, a few more uh, Andromischkis, and another Tycholidon. Oh, you have so many Tycholidon, yeah. I do, I love the Tycholidon, they're actually beautiful. I think my Decepians did die, because like when it's it's like rotting, you can smell a certain type of fragrance on them, a certain smell on them, you know it's rotted. It, it releases a certain smell and you know, you know that smell. So yeah, unfortunately, whatever. I'll buy a new one, don't worry. Okay, so down to this level, we have the strings of watermelon, which <laughs> I kind of almost killed because <laughs> it was freezing. Cold outside, it was like negative 16 degrees and then I left it right beside the window and the window door is open and it kind of froze most of it but you know whatever it's still alive yay <laughs> whatever it's still alive it's okay don't worry i got you i got you don't worry i can get more anytime uh strings of nickels or silver dollar silver dollar i think silver dollar i think i think it needs more water it needs more water these ones need more water um my mom's easter cactus All right it was it was droopy so i need to give it more water the Bronzia Maximiliani, which I just watered today because it was getting wrinkly. You can see that it's wrinkly. Uh, the Crimson Queen, Hawartha Crimson Queen, which is looking much, much better now, away from the window and it's under these lights and getting more water, right? Uh, I put the pink Grenovia cluster right here in the piggy. I put the green Grenovia clusters and some pink Grenovia single heads into this little rat one. Super cute, you guys. Mother of millions right over there. Mother of thousands right here as well. Oh. And then, oh, look, look, this. This is a gravy, gravy boat thingy. You put gravy or sauce and you like, pour out, right? I found this at the thrift store at Talese. It's a thrift store in Canada. And then I bought it and I just knocked off the handle because I don't like the handles. The handles usually, like, you know, it's a lot more space. I don't like it, so I just knocked it off. And I put the strings of pearls in here. And look, it is purling out. Oh my gosh, right? Oh, that's, that's, that's really cool. So I like that. That looks cool. So these are variegated strings of pearls. They will be on sale, I believe, in March pre-orders. Um, and it's, I think it's going to be $30 for like, like a really nice bundle like that. And usually people sell them for $15, like just for a tiny strand. It's like, fuck that shit. <laughs> F that shit, right? My actual Mishkis propagation tray that has all the backed up stuff. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, and this is the Bloomstock propagation tray and some other propagation stuff from my Glibophorias. They've been cut down too because they've been pretty much ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, see, see, look, look. That is a um, fantastic fountain, a young one, and it's fuzzy, right? Yeah, see? And that's just my, my one singular propagation trade this year. 
I'm not doing any more propagation. I hate propagation. Like trays, I just hate them. I just, I just behead them and then I just cut off the baby. So that's it. Okay, this one's my mom's stuff. And then you can see down here as well. My aloe vera that we're gonna make into dessert this year because it's getting bigger. My aloe aborescence, which I'm gonna get rid of because it's, it's just too big. I might put it in my room, I don't know, but it's just getting too big. This other aloe, I don't know what the name of it, but it's really cool. Abucasparalas and some other stuff over there. Okay, so we're gonna move upwards, but I'm not gonna go over here yet, over here yet, because there's something else. I'm gonna show you other stuff, okay? Uh, this is my aloe that I bought from my seller. Um, and it's really cool because it's like tree-like. Uh, it's called the Ramosima, aloe Ramosima. My mom's orchids that I've been trying to take care of, but sometimes I forget to water them, right? So they're okay now. I'm waiting for it to come home and actually take care of them. <laughs> Sorry, mom. But it's been blooming, hold on. It's been blooming. So it's, it's bloomed. Gorgeous blooms, right? Gorgeous blooms. Gorgeous blooms as well. And my strings of dolphins, which I have right there. More gorgeous blooms, right? Beautiful. I think I need to take good, better care of it. Yeah. But I've been disinfecting it from like mealybug infestation, so that's good. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, my Crassula, the tricolor one. My Crassula jade one variegated jade one, the different one, not the lime and ch chili, whatever. Uh, my Ellen Ripley, which is the ripple jade leaf. Oh, 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 you're seeing, no, no, you're not supposed to see that. Uh, my ripple jade leaf, gorgeous. Like it's, I think it's gonna be three years old this year. Yeah, it's gonna be three years old this year. Uh, my mom's Thanksgiving cactus, which I don't know what's going on with this. I need, I think I need to invest in my gate. I think it's dying, but this side is fine. So we'll see. Uh, blue chalk sticks, more of her, um, um, more of her, what are these, orchids, orchids, yeah, more of her orchids, so they're, they're fine, I think I'm losing some over there, uh, uh, whatever, I don't, I'm just waiting for her to come home and fix it, I'm just trying to maintain, because I'm not into orchids that much, so I don't know how to like take care of them, but they are blooming, right, so let's, see what the uh what the thing is over here which is, you'll be like oh my god okay are you ready are you ready let's go three two one oh my gosh yeah so this is part of my pink collection like all this so i brought these out from the bottom shelf which was like you know red led lights you can't really see them that well right so this is pretty much it and I brought some of the other plants that I have around the houses as well. That's decorating, decorating around the house. Ooh, look at that big, big yellow fail, whale, whale fin, fail, bale tin, fail tin. Anyways, yeah, but this is like my pink collection, part of my pink collection. You know, some of them is over there, over there, but most of them is here. So I wanna show you. So this is what it's all about this year, control. Controlling and maintaining that colorful control, right? And yeah, so this is a Belgrave, which is slowly turning back into the color that um, I have originally bought it as, which is like reddish. You see how it's slowly turning reddish, right? Uh, this is a black queen. This is a uh, fun queen. This is an Agavoides again. Don't know the name. I think it's just a uh, lipstick or orange one, whatever. This is a Hearts Delight. Uh, Rose Queen. Uh, Trumpet Pinky, ooh, Ben Baldis, Ben Baddis actually, Ben Baddis, a Sirius Red, uh, a Chiverduna, Fred Ives, how, look how pink these things are, right? Yeah, Fred Ives can be that pink, man. They don't have to be like purple or green, they can be that pink. Uh, this is my German Champagne, I love the Champagne. Does anybody love German? German men's are hot. Uh, this is a Lau Lucina. Mm, peachy, a peachy gradient into a very pastel purple, pastel purplish. Uh, Mad Cat, Nordosa, uh, Mad Cat's eyes, whatever. This is a Rose Queen or Black Rose. Rose Queen, I think, what is it called? Black Rose, this is a Black Rose. Ooh, gorgeous, right? Uh, this is Pretty in Pink. 
This is the Uka Luka Duka one. Don't know the name, sorry. I mean, it's, 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 it's on here. But what is it called? A This is called a Uka Luka Duka Duka. This is called a Ungui Culada, Pina Calada one. This is a Ungo, in, Ungo Pina Calada. Uh, this is a Pacopoides, Pacotoides. A Laui that's turning pink. It doesn't look like it on the camera, but in real life it's turning pink. There is no such thing as pink Lauis, you guys. It's just Lauis that turns pink in the cold. Uh, Romeo Rubin. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a heart lily that I posted and they're like, I can't find the name of this online. It must be fake. So I'm gonna go try to look at what it is. You guys, it's from Asia and it literally translates to heart lily. So this is my heart lily. I love it. I'm actually gonna propagate it. It's actually really cool. So this is what it originally looks like. Does not look great, right? It looks fuggy. But now that I understand what to do because of control, it looks gorgeously beautiful, right? Gorgeously beautiful. Anyways, this is a variegated version of the Pacatoides right here. This is a Banisi. Oh, look at that Banisi. Gorgeously pink, right? Mm, love it. Love it. Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, this is my vagina eater or the Abocarinata variegated ones and it's slowly turning back into the colors that I originally bought it as, kind of. See, the thing is I live in an apartment and I don't have a greenhouse. If it was in the greenhouse, it'd be such, such much better colors, whatever. This is my true variegated black prints right here. That's giving me that red color on top. You can see that. And yeah. So once it gets more redder, I will take a beautiful picture of it. I love that. This is a Madaba that I bought last year from Succulentia. It was peach when I got it, now it's pink. Oh, gorgeous. It turns peach in the summer. So it turns peach in the, um, it turns peach in the, in the hot heat and hot sun. So it will turn, turn peach in, when it comes to summertime this year for me too. Uh, the Cupid which is actually blooming, but it's not really an Echeveria, is it? Look, look, at the, look at the flower. That's not an Echeveria flower. That's a more a, of a Pachevaria or a Graptovaria. <gasps> we'll see. I think it's, it's not really a Cupid, but whatever. I call it a Cupid because it's cool. Ra Strawberry ice, I think, raspberry ice, whatever. Uh, the Shaviana mutation. Look at that gorgeous color. Isn't that beautiful? Right, Violet Queen that I almost killed last year, it's recovered. The Orpit that's turning back to pink. Uh, frail Raindrops, look at all the pinkness. Don't know the name of this. This one, it's a very complicated name, but whatever, I don't care. Crassula Justice, which I'm keeping the color. Look, it's so beautiful, right? Uh, this is one of my favorite right now. This is an Agavoides Purple Ebony, hold on. It's called an Acavoris Purple Ebony, or it's also called a uh, Echeveria Red Maria. That's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the flowers. I think it's only producing four flowers. That's gorgeous. I might have another photo shoot with it because it's beautifully gorgeous. I love that one. This is my Acavoris uh, Orange Ebony. Beautiful, isn't it? Look, look at the colors on the set. Oh gosh, right? Yeah. I uh, don't know what these are, but I need to spray this because these have mealy bug infestation. This is a dark desire. Oh my God. I just put it under the red LED light so it's getting even more redder. These two are salmons. So these two are Echeveria salmons. This is beautiful. So I've reverted it back to how I bought it, which is this. This is not beautiful yet. So I'm slowly changing this into this, which is gorgeous, right? Okay, next up is my bluebird right here, which I'm turning it to more compacto and more pinker. Let me see inside. Right, so we'll see what happens. Uh, ruby bush, Pavana ruby bush, mom's tom thumbs, gorgeous, right? Another sensation right there in the in the uh, froggy. This is this is my mom's uh, baby necklace. She loves these, right? And this is like one year old. Look at that. Look how red that is. Like one, one and a half or one, one you're so done. Look how beautiful like red those are, right? So these are under the LED red lights. They're pretty compact too. So I'm gonna keep them down there. 
so beautiful, right? Yeah, and then my mom's Crassula uh, Golems. Look at these red tips. Gorgeous, right? This is my, this is mine. This is my Crassula Berifolia. Look at all the red colors. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. Uh, this is a Dasphilium minor or major, whatever. It's crested, but I need to fix it because I think it's like dying on the side right now. We'll see what happens. But I like how it looks. So I actually sprinkled it into this batch right here. So we'll, we'll have a wonderful mix of colors. So this is another uh, Sedum Dasphilium minor. I think that's a major. This is minor, whichever, one of those. But this changes colors very gorgeously. Look at that, how much of that, right? Blue beans, blue beans. Shira, right? Uh, Sedum something. Look at that. Look how gorgeous this is, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the collection so far. And there's more. There's more. Okay, so um, there's there's quite a few more pink stuff. Um, Aeonium Veller. This is the real Veller, I think, or Schwarzkopf. Look how gorgeous. So these are just under the red red LED lights on the bottom and it's very, very compact. You see how compact that is? It's very, very compact, right? That's what I want. Uh, this is this is a Ovifurium, Momo Biji, Bijin, whatever, Momo Bijin. And it's very, very compact as well. And look how gorgeous it gradients from like blue inside to like faded purple. So this is under a red LED lights too, right? Very, very gorgeous. All right, very, very gorgeous. Um, ooh, my hand's hurting, sorry. Ooh, my hands, my hand on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, so this is an Echever Resley, which I actually got a small, tiny one from uh, someone, and I didn't realize I already had an Echever Resley, but I've been watering it every week, and I've had it under Pink, oh gorgeous, isn't it? Peach pink, love it. Uh, Crested Luella, look at those colors, girl. You see, this year's all about like control and colors, control and colors, right? My mom's variegated Tom Thumbs that I bought her for her birthday last year. And then, I don't know, well, I bought it as a gift anyway, it didn't really matter. Then I actually had to tie this together because it was just, you know, just, just going wildly spreading out. So, oh, wait, what's going on? Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It was just, you know, whatever. So I've had to tie it back. And it's actually keeping that shape and form. That's what I want it to look like, right? So these two are the Shaviana Mutation as well, which my seller sent me extras of. And I have not watered these for two months. See my finger, one, two. You see, I have actually nice nails, okay? I have nice, nice manly nails, whatever. Pretty, pretty nails. Pretty, pretty non-disgusting, weird looking nail. And I don't bite any nails, so they're pretty nice. That's why like my hands get, they hurt really easy because they're fragile, they're fragile. They're meant for typing, not for lifting, but I have to go to the gym. Anyways, but yeah, um, so these ones, I haven't watered for two months. And they look absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'm gonna show you, hold on. Show you. Oh, 
show you closer. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Look at this. Very compact. Two months, no watering. Okay, and this one is the, ooh, see my feet? My feet are okay. They're not as pretty, but they're nice. Anyways, sorry. Um, these are the ruby necklace that I had last year and I started like um, growing in the summer of this year. Look how beautiful, look, it's just nice, right? It's just nice. So the more light, the more stronger light, it changes to deeper purple and deeper reds, okay? The lesser, stronger light, it changes back to greenish. So light is very important. If, it depends on what you want to do. Certain lights will give you the certain result. Very, very important to know that, okay? Uh, this is the Sensevera Cleopatra that came in. So all these leaves are just fell off, so I just put them into Propagate, yeah? Actually, these are not extra. This One of them is mine and one of them is my friend's, yeah? Uh, this is the Sense of Very uh, Golden Flame. These are extras, whatever. But I, I leave this in the washroom because it looks nice. Uh, how worth it? Something I haven't watered this in a long time. Neither have this. Like I have not watered these two in a long time. Uh, Sense of Very Concina in in the snail. I think this is drooping right now, so I don't know what's going on with that. Whale fin, one of the whale fins. So that I put into one of these. That looks cool. Sensevaria Halle Filipina. Oh, it's getting its yellow back now. It's finally recovering, getting yellow back. I also have not watered this, and this is like all the way in the dark space, and it's still greenish. It looks really cool. I bought new uh, pothos, the vine pothos, because I really like them. I really like this. I like. I wanted the marble queen because I had the other ones. So I like the marble queen, so I got that. Uh, Silver sand. That I, I don't know. Uh, Crassula tomatosa, no, Cotyledon tomatosa, I believe. The bear paws inside the, ooh, 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 hold on. Inside the panda bear, right? I got the golden flame. Oh, this is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. In the piggy, in my piggy. Let's see, in my piggy, right? I got, this is the yellow whale fin for my friend Josephine's uh, husband. Uh, to take to work so that way all the ladies can be like, oh my god, where did you get that? And they'll be like, they'll be like, you can find it on this guy's thing. Go buy it. You know, right. So this is that's what I that's this is his. Uh, someone needs to pick this up. I actually don't know about their thing. So I don't know. These are all the whale fins, that's mine. Uh, someone did buy this, so they need to pick it up on after their vacation. It's very gorgeous. This one's very, very gorgeous, like extraordinarily gorgeous. Right? And these two are the whale fins that I have. They're gigantic. This one is like 22 inches to top to all the way down to the root. Uh, someone has bought this already, so, you know. Um, so uh, yeah, those are the whale fins. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're gorgeous, they're absolutely gorgeous. So that is pretty much my collection these days. Um, nothing's changed, I've lost quite a bit. Caught a few this year, but you know, whatever. It's not very a huge thing. Um, but you know, it's still a learning process and learning to control, you know, getting the end result. Like these ones are what I'm trying to do this year. Oh, and then the bottom here is just like uh, the shelving units that I've disassembled, the chemical stuff that I use to spray things. Uh, we'll make another video, uh, the trash can, you know, my workstation, which is here, where I do a lot of like the uh, the planting and stuff like that, right? Um, and then, ooh, okay. So this stuff right here, these are all the um, the trays that I'm using right now. These are aquatic trays, so the very heavy duty trays. And I've uh, drilled holes into these, so that way there's nice air flows. Uh, this is my box of uh, soil mix, version three. Um, that's pretty much it. And then I have hanging vine pothos right there. That's pretty much it, right? So yeah, thank you so much for watching this guide video and there will be more videos to come. It's just gonna take some time and I hope you, hopefully you like it. And yeah, if you like it, press thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to press subscribe. I know, there's a lot of colors. You know, I usually post these on my Instagram too. Anyways, anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.